Guys, I talked to the juggernaut himself, Lorenzo Hunt. He's going to be facing Dustin Long at BKFC 14 this Friday, Friday the 13th. Don't be superstitious. Tune in. Man, what is up? It's been a while. God, it's been, it feels like it's been forever. I, you know, I, I think. We always, we always find such an old man. Yeah. We did an interview back, what, Reggie King? It's been a year. Yep. Yep, hundred yeah. percent, man. Like, I, yeah. how have things been, man? How have things been for you? I know. Oh, I've man, been... I'm right. I mean, we all survived the apocalypse, so I mean, <laughs> it don't get much better than that. We getting back to business, you know, getting back to fighting, getting back to doing what I love. My gym uh, opened back up, and we've been kicking ass every day. Uh, shout out to the boxing yard. So, yeah, it's it's been great. You know, it's been great. How is uh? You know, I I asked everybody this because. I always find it interesting, man. So, of course, it's been a weird year, and I, I don't want to go into, like, COVID stuff too much because everybody knows how shit is. But, like, how have things been for you, man, as far as, like, you know, I know gyms have been closing down. You know, have you had to change anything up training-wise to kind of adapt to everybody's well, situation? Well, at first, like I said, everything was real scary. And, um, yeah, um, um, I got my own gym here, here in Jacksonville called The Boxing Yard. Uh, and uh, we – we kind of shut down when everybody else did because we didn't want to be like the people. We don't. We wouldn't. We didn't want to make our people sick. Right. So we shut down and we let everybody get nice and plump. And uh, <laughs> I gained a few a few pounds myself. Me and my daughter. You know, we stayed in the house. We played. I think I came back to uh, training at about maybe two thirty. 235 which is like the biggest i'll ever be that's the biggest i've ever been 235 so uh we hacked it down we all lost weight together um i got these amazing juices that i make uh, uh i've been drinking for years um a little mixture a blend of uh special juices that i think will help you know uh recovery and and um and um help with recovery help with energy help with appetite so I bring them to the class and I pass them out and then we all work out and work out and work out and we all cut that weight, man. We 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 shredded. All of us cut that weight this summer. So uh, once once we open back up, we we've been kicking ass. What like spinach and stuff? Like what do you what do you put in it? Give yeah, me. Give, um, give... I like uh, I like to use uh, when I when I do my fruits and stuff. I like to uh -huh. use the cities. I miss. I I fuck with pH. It's like I like. Uh, apple and ginger that's like one of the uh -huh. class favorites apple and ginger or um apple ginger and pear or i'll uh -huh. do things like uh turmeric and spinach uh spinach mm. and spinach and um i like i'll i'll use a little bit of lime whenever i'm messing with heavy heavy green stuff i like to use uh spinach kale and lime or um cucumber you know and uh turmeric and uh and uh um what you call it uh fucking uh um, cabbage. I, cabbage I, I hear a lot of people. I hear a lot of people mess with turmeric, man. That's good for like inflammation and stuff, right? Yeah, turmeric's an awesome old school um, uh, remedy for damn near everything. Between turmeric, gin, ginger, and ginseng, we've kind of lost our way a little bit when it comes to nutrition. And so, with that being said, I don't know if people remember, but the wars back in the day used to be fought over spices. Mm. And, and, and like <laughs> that shit was serious. Like they were not joking. They needed it, you know. Um. So, so it's very, very important to get the right nutrients in your body, especially when you're healing or trying to avoid getting sick and shit like that. If you're constantly giving your body what it needs to repair itself and to heal itself and to fight and block and, and do its actual job, you'll be fine. But since we eat a lot of nothing, we have yeah. nothing to fight with. We have nothing to fight with. Uh, it's interesting, right? Because uh, I've kind of, it's funny because like over, over the course of COVID, you know, I've actually, thank God, I've actually done the opposite. You know, I've probably lost about 50 pounds. You know, I really started yeah. Uh, yeah, looking yeah, at, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like looking yeah. at like my, my diet and, and, you know, really incorporating more, more supplements and, uh, you know, making sure like I'm actually getting nutrients. Cause like you said, most of us feed our body garbage. You know, pure it's garbage. It's garbage. Pure garbage. The, 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 uh, to me, uh, when I look at it, like from a scientific standpoint, the human body is the perfect synthesizing machine. It can make whatever it needs. It can almost make whatever it needs out of anything. 
But hey, dude, that's not good. <laughs> if you no, give me Cheetos, it'll dude, make you know what? Old new hand out of Cheetos. Hundred, <laughs> hundred percent, man. Look, and you know what else? And uh, we'll get off of this. But I just, just talk. I love talking about this shit. But like, uh, I started incorporating like apple cider vinegar. I don't know if yep. you fuck with that at all, yep. but dude, yep. I had a. Uh, so before I started taking it, I used to get like uh, really bad. Uh, uh, like when I would eat stuff, like I would have like acid reflux, stuff like that. I've been taking apple cider vinegar, gone. It's gone. That's just, and that, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar actually cleanses out your um your arteries. It helps yeah, yeah. Clear, clear clogged arteries. It helps get that fat off your minimum. Uh, it helps get in there and break down the shit that your body just didn't have the power to. You know what I mean? And if you constantly, it's nasty as shit. Oh my god, it's disgusting. But if yeah. you um use like some hot water and use a teaspoon of it and make like a tea, or you can make some tea at night. You know, and at night you have a little hot water, a tea, and a little. You, you can get it down. You know, and if you I, get I, it I put like a teaspoon of honey in it. I just put like a drop yeah, of honey yeah, in it. Just yeah, sweet. and it'll work. It'll work for you. It'll yeah. work for you. Actually, um, I had a friend that had MS. And um, we we were experimenting with like some with some um, gingers and some different uh, turmerics, which are blood thinners, natural, you know, make the body flow. And yep. then a lot of apple cider vinegar get in there trying to attack that plaque that grows on the brain. It starts making you twitch and act funny and shit. And and, and it works for him. My, my buddy Mike, he no longer has a, a MS. And I know that's like a big claim, but hey, I'm, I'm not wow. a doctor. I don't care, but my buddy's better. So, hey. We must have did something right. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, ama it's, 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 it's amazing, man. You know, I just, I just always think of it this way. You know, I feel like, you know, God put this stuff on the earth for, for a reason. Whoa. We lost. We're good. We're good. Now, I, was, I, I was just going to say, you know, I, I always feel like, you know, God put this stuff on earth for a reason, you know, to, to put in our bodies and not this bullshit, all this process stuff. But yeah, all is good. Anyways, man, but um, look, I, I don't know if I've ever actually asked you this. So I was talking earlier about the juggernaut. Where did that name come from? Oh, man. Um, we used to play football mm. um, in the street where I grew up because we didn't have no grass. And um, the kids gave me that name. I, w I would play running back. And uh, they know that if I got the ball, if I got a nice step, if I got an open hole, I'd be nearly impossible to take down. I'd run over anybody. If I get to the sideline, you're dead. And if a car came, if I hit the car, your car is done. And they used to be like, look at that dick. <laughs> I, could, I could stumble and hit, a, and hit the side of a car, and they would be like, oh, my God, this guy is a juggernaut. So they've been actually been calling me that since since I was a kid, and I just let it I just let it stick. Uh, it was perfect when I got into MMA. I was just running guys over, and it was just perfect. They're like this, this guy, you know, he runs downhill. He's, he's momentum. It's just all momentum and force. And we just can't stop. And they and they they was cool with it. They used to call me the Juggernaut. I love it. Man. I love I loved it too. Like we played in yeah. the snow. You know, we played in the snow, uh, Ohio. I used to take a. Uh, uh, paper towels and put them on right here and put my put my skull cap on. I mm. put my skull cap on. I have a thick helmet of paper towels and I bang all all day in the summer. I mean all day in the uh, winter. Yeah, I love it, man. We play football, you know. I love it. Brown so, Brownstown. Browntown. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So let's get to it, man. BKFC fourteen. We're about a week away now, man. Uh, yeah. you versus Dustin Long. Dustin who? Who? Dustin Long. <laughs> who? <laughs> well, talk talk about it, man. So talk like how you know talk about getting the call for the fight. Uh, you know, taking the fight, and you know this is a guy, Dustin Long. He's got some uh, boxing and MMA history, but this is his first bare knuckle venture. Um, you know, I guess speak on getting the fight, getting the call for this fight to be on this card. Um, uh, my manager, uh, Smith Brothers, uh, uh, who's been doing an awesome job. Uh, Kevin Smith's been doing an awesome job. He stays in touch with me. He always let me know who's coming in, who's creeping in, who's trying to get in the back door. And um, and we're not gonna make it easy for none of them guys. Like, um, I'm I'm gonna 
um, consider myself a BKFC veteran. Um, I had I had bare knuckle fights before this before uh, um, I came over to BKFC. I just so happened to win their tryouts, and then they they welcomed me on and treat and have treated me for, like family ever since. Um, my record is three and one actually, and um, yep. and uh, I plan to make it four and one uh, very very soon. So. When uh, Kevin called me about this fight and they talked to me about Dustin Long, you know, he's a big guy. He's been in the game a while. He's, you know, they're, they're, they may, you know, have trouble making a match for him. I was like, how? When? Well, I'll take it. Whatever. You know what I mean? Because um, I have a particular set of skills that are very hard to contend with. And guys, they come and they know what they know, but they don't know what they don't know mm -hmm. <laughs> right and, so, and i'm okay with that so i took the fight i told i took the fight i took the fight on short notice but i'm always training i'm always grinding it out i'm already close to weight already i'm sitting here um drinking my tea you know um in between my classes i train twice a day four hours a day i'm, I'm putting in eight hours a day just in training like a like a like a savage like a juggernaut so um when they come it'll be all about who did the most work Mm. So, uh, as you mentioned, you know, we've been, you know, we've been talking since the, the Reggie Pena fight, since your first fight, you know, in BKFC. What can you, you know, maybe going back to, like you said, you know, this that wasn't your first bar knuckle fight, but what do you think, um, I don't want to say advice, because I guess you don't want to offer him advice too much, but... How, how was your first fight in bare knuckle? You know, how was it versus, you know, how it felt? Um, what do you expect him to be going through, you know, coming in in his first bare knuckle fight? Um, well, he's a veteran fighter, so it's not exactly the same as being a, um, as being a, 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 a new fighter on the scene. He's a veteran pro fighter. He's been under the, under the big light. He's probably been under bigger lights than me. And um, so he won't have the butterflies. He'll come in and he'll be doing everything like he's used to doing it. He'll be he'll be um, focused, just like you know he's going to a regular job, and 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 and, and that'll all work out for him. But in the back of his mind, there'll always be this 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 mustard seed of doubt uh, with this uh, with this bare knuckle shit. And quite honestly, it should be there should be. Um, way more than a mustard seed of doubt because this is a whole different sport. It's not boxing. It's not MMA. It's not um, um, jujitsu or sports jujitsu or none of that shit. It's none of that. This is fighting in the bar. This is fighting for your life outside the parking lot when it's dark and you got off work and somebody jumped out and grabbed you and tried to take your wallet or or or, <laughs> or take pull your pants down. You know what I mean? <laughs> like this is this is <laughs> this ain't this ain't none of that shit you're thinking about. This is somebody kicked in your door in the middle of the night and you woke up out of the bed and your heart's beating and you gotta fight for your family. So um yeah, I I, I don't I don't know how no one knows how they react when something like that's happened, when, when something like that happens. Um, and that's what this is. So he may think he's this or he's that or he's solid at this or he's good at that, but we won't know until Friday the 13th. We won't know. We won't know what, he's, what he really is until, you know. How, how does it go down, man? Um... I don't care. It just it just goes down. Okay. Yeah. I've I've planned I've planned and, 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 and visualized every second of every round all the way to the end. Um if it elapses in any fashion before then, then it'll just be because he fucked up or couldn't hack it. He couldn't take it. I've never taken a fight that I thought was easy. I've never taken a fight that I thought was a sure thing. I've always been afraid. And so when I go in there, I manage the moments. I manage the little things. I do the best that I can do in every moment. And then these guys, they get impatient. 
and then they'll start hurting themselves. And by hurting themselves, I mean fucking with me. <laughs> that's what, that's that's pretty much what I mean. Like why 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 you why you hitting yourself? Why why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then you know, then the blood comes, and then the concerned people come, and then you know, it just happens. It just happens all on its own. It's a show. I'm, I'm, I'm actually having like an out of body experience. I'm watching it with you guys. I'm watching mm. it too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I've been, yeah. That's I'm, deep, I'm just, man. Yeah, I'm just standing on the side with my dad watching this shit go down. <laughs> That's I deep. Did the work. I just let it go. Hundred percent, man. Well, I tell you what. Dude, we're uh, I'm I'm pumped, man. I'm pumped for the fight. I'm pumped for the card. Uh, I I can't wait. Miami. Uh, it'll be my first time in Miami, so I, I'm looking forward to oh, that yeah. too. Yeah, I can't yeah, wait, man. Yeah, I can't wait. And uh, sir, like I said, I I appreciate your time, man, so much. Uh, just yeah, good 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 luck to you, man. Like I said, Friday the thirteenth, next Friday, BKFC fourteen. Uh, go download the BK TV app, please. Yeah. Don't miss it. And uh. Like I said, good luck to you, sir, and we appreciate let me, you. Let me, let me give you, let me give a quick shout out to my. Sponsor, Go ahead. My people, my people, Absolutely. People who care about me. Hey, to you guys out there that's working hard and looking out and looking out for Lorenzo, looking out for the team hunt, the boxing yard, all my clients who come into class every day kicking butt. I want to say I truly appreciate you. I thank you. I'm gonna show you what this is all about. I'm gonna show you what this art is about. How this hard work always pays off how what you do always shows up when you need it we going in friday the 13th uh team hunt uh smith brothers uh we rocking and uh and i and all the all the new guys uh just signed into to smith brothers i want y'all to know we a family we going out together we winning together we carrying each other's records we carrying each other everywhere we go they gonna know smith smith brothers uh fighters are killers so uh, bring your A game every single time. If you guys need anything or you need somewhere to come and train, uh, hit me up. I'm in Jacksonville, 700 East Union Street, Boxing Yard. We always grinding. Um, um, and, and that's my shout out. Shout out to Nate Shook and uh, and uh, and David Feldman for always sticking it out, putting on the show no matter what. Them boys will put a put a, put on. <laughs> them boys will put on the show anytime, anywhere. It ain't nobody even allowed to go. Yes, you sir. Anywhere. <laughs> yeah, anywhere. Like, anywhere. Yeah, not, so anytime, anywhere. Like I say, pretty soon, Bare, Bare Knuckle will be will be one of the biggest, um, most exciting, most watched shows um, um, that there is because everything else is getting boring. Everything else is predictable. I am not. I am unpredictable. I am a wild card. And I'm going to show them every single time. Like, holy shit, we got to see it. If you don't see it, it's just... You missed it, bro. You, you 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 fucked up. Download the BKFC app. Watch all the fights for for fucking three bucks. You get to watch all the fights. We was we was paying to watch our own fights. I used to pay. <laughs> used to pay forty bucks just to watch my fight. You know what I'm saying? After I fought. So you can't beat it, man. Come on, man. Uh, download the BKFC app. It's easy. Put your card in there. You three bucks. It take three bucks a month. And you watching all the fights all 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 year long, and um yeah so so that's that that's great. Uh, uh, thank you for having me, bro. I see the I see y'all in Miami. Yes, sir. See you in Miami, buddy. Yes, sir. Bye.